Aquarius, this is Sha, and this is your reading for the 12th to the 18th of October 2020. And I hope you're well. Thank you very much for your likes and shares. And I hope you have enjoyed the uh, extra videos on candle making and pumpkin pa soup and pumpkin uh, light to something I thought that would be nice to do because we are back in lockdown perhaps you're not or perhaps you are as well but it's something that you can do um, with the children and for yourself of course recycle the pumpkin and getting ready for the Halloween and trick and treat getting you back into the uh, mood of Halloween and remember we have two moons this month and it's got the blue moon on Halloween. Magical stuff is happening and I'm already seeing it in your reading and in Cap uh, Capricorn's reading. Talking about magic, you have the magician and I'm using a new tarot deck and it's called the Star Tarot and I have I've done a review on that so go and have a look and you can see all these vibrant colors. Now if you're new welcome to the um, channel and please subscribe and hit the like button and have a scout around on the channel under updates and news and under the witches series. We uh, This is not just about witches this is about your environment about your health about candles, colors, everything. And if you um, like uh, to join uh, the, my special group on face uh, Facebook, then there is a, a group called Charlie's Angel Crowd. The details are in the description box. There will be competitions and meetings and workshops in the new year. And I hope you've enjoyed the uh, other videos on this channel. And I do go live, so please join us when we go live. So subscribe, hit the bell on all, and also set your settings in YouTube um, that you want to receive notifications and in your mobile uh, device. If you don't know how to do that, it is uh, there's also a video on that. So let's get started with your readings, my darlings. First of all, Aquarius, I would like to thank you for all your likes and your thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You are one of my highest uh, group of viewers. And um, I really feel chuffed. Thank you. The first card that we have is the world. And of course, this means you might be moving home or going on holiday. And the world is your oyster you are in balance. Now this deck is fairly new to me uh, well it is new <laughs> and uh, she's holding the world in her hands but this is also like the world so remember the world is yet so small but yet so large so magical things can happen close to home and you thought you might have to travel the world to find what you want no, it is really within you. You have to take action to um, get what you want. And the world is your oyster, so it could be your own world. But also expand. This means also expansion. This is also my karma card. If you've done good or bad, you'll get it back threefold. And if somebody's done you wrong or good, they'll get it back threefold. Now the world doesn't only mean moving home or going on holiday or traveling the world. It also means that you are balanced within your own world, your own family and friends, that circle. And you are getting some kind of recognition because a rela friendship might evolve into a relationship. You might be going up a step in the relationship from going out to getting engaged or from getting engaged to getting married. So something magical is going to happen or is happening. Look at all those butterflies. It's taken time. Look at the tortoises or turtles and they're very smooth and slow and elegant. But now the time is changing. Look at the butterflies. You are spreading your wings. 
you might even get a promotion like I said expansion moving a step up going up to the next level with something you are being seen beautiful card now I'm going to do the second card and that's Wednesday and Wednesday you've got the four of cups so don't sit in your own little world expand come out of your comfort zone open your eyes you are in balance look at all those chakras lined up you have been clearing you've been meditating or manifesting and or contemplating and evaluating so that's why you've got the world in your own hands you hold the key to your advancement look around you get out of your head look around you and see what is on offer like I said the world is so small but yet so large there's more things on offer only if you are open to seeing it and open your heart and mind perhaps to love it looks a bit like a love reading to me as you have the lovers so you could be meeting a Gemini look at that it's so that's Gabriel sending you love and protection you might be partnering up in business or you might be partnering up in life beautiful you are in balance six is an even number and being together is number two so two is always to do with balance you might have met your soulmate now and you're coming together Ooh, I love this lovely 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 stuff <laughs> like I said you hold the key be transparent be honest but come out of your comfort zone magic doesn't exist only in your own world but in the world in general see the beauty in the world you've got all the tools you are grounded you uh, you've cleared your chakras you've done your meditation don't be depressed I know th some things are on hold but it seems that they are moving for you big time you are spreading your wings you're no longer this caterpillar you are fluttering about from place to place like gently and elegantly and people love you people want they feel your energetic energy and they want to join forces with you perhaps a new love if you are not hooked up you've done your magic <laughs> because you are a magnet you're attractive you're sweet you're kind like elegant this is what is coming out to me in this reading remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign now to clarify the world we have the Queen of Wands you have you're going to go for what you want because this lady knows what she wants and she can be quite forceful and she knows she's got self-confidence because look at the lion lion and the puma and they know what they want and they go for it they pounce on it she's self-assured she's determined costs what may so take a page out of her book but the Queen of Wands um, also represents Leo. So there could be a Leo around you that is interested in you. Whether they can be quite dominant, uh, but a caring person. If you're a lady, this could be a man that's quite dominant, but also very nurturing. That's the female side of us we've both got female and male within us or you could be taking a page out of her book but with the f um, the um, forcefulness be gentle be ladylike be feminine I mean be feminine don't use be use the force but be do it in a gentle way okay don't just pounce on anybody with any ideas <laughs> Ah, gosh, what the cards do, they bring so much out, you know, and even with colour, it seems to f 
flow into each other yeah it just just flows into each other these cards they're magic I love this reading I really really do so you're going to get what you want definitely because you're holding the key and you're making um, strong decisions like the Queen of Wands she's strong and she knows what she wants but also know your boundaries if you do uh, uh, if you if you're not the person that's forceful and determined then make sure that you know your boundaries and the Queen of Wands boundaries okay otherwise you'll get burned up so passion is definitely in the air but I think you want to um, go into a long-term relationship going up to the next level but don't get burned out and don't get burnt because passion doesn't last take it step by step okay and then we have the ten of wands you've been through a major life change like I said there is change you're transforming and you're getting recognition you might have been a little, little bit forceful and done things um, too forceful so you must know your boundaries because you are getting burned out you've got a lot of fire in your reading okay so there is an ending coming to all negativity um, heavy burdens um, so don't give up now because you've got magic here you've got ho you're holding the key you're meeting up with people um, partnering up most probably with uh, people or a special person your soulmate it could be a Gemini or it could be a Leo Gemini is here as well and Aries and you do have two cards uh, of ones so that is also a uh, a fire sign Aries is a fire sign you've got Leo and Aries and Gemini twice okay so there is a new beginning coming definitely you are now at a crossroads you have to decide what you want and go for it and don't have any doubts like the Queen of Wands she has no doubts on Friday or at the end of the week you have the nine of Pentacles and look at this she's holding a dove and that means that peace is restored you've got the nine of Pentacles again an ending of financial uh, difficulties and a new beginning you're nearly there don't give up now okay even if it is difficult don't give up now the beginning is just around the corner there will be a better time financially or materially something that is tangible a tangible relationship okay lovers and the nine of Pentacles coming together sharing and share and giving and taking that will lighten the load financially and materially as well you might be actually moving in with somebody wow this is mind-blowing and then we've got the Empress we've got the Empress that's also such a beautiful card and look at her back of her chair she's got the butterfly so you've got a lot of butterflies in your reading and star is shining upon her so the star is shining upon you like I said the world is your oyster and here you can see an angel or a child and the Sun is shining on it and remember that the Empress represents Libra so there could be an, an announcement of a birth this could be of a child or a project this could be that you might be announcing at the end of the week that you're getting engaged or getting married with somebody and this is a Libra so you've got Gemini Aries Leo and Libra in your reading and we're in Libra period okay 
we're still in Libra so definitely Libra is significant whether it's a person or whether it's Libra time okay Aquarius so the Empress has sown seeds perhaps you have sown seeds and they're coming to fruition now like I said you are being recognized and um, people are attracted to you you've sown seeds so people are drawn to you that is what you've been you've been transforming yourself climbing up the ladder uh, getting what you want definitely with the world you're not down and out anymore you're up and rising magic is happening magic is in the air beautiful you might be plucking the fruit or the harvest at the end of the week if you haven't already now we've got an angel card for you from the uh, from Anne Ellis and she also has a channel Anne Ellis Tarot on YouTube intuition always listen to your intuition my darlings communication listen to your inner wisdom it holds the answers well that's a lot like the magician card you hold the key then we have your soul story you know your soul story and you can change your story this is a moment of expansion you are being tested naturally you may want to be reassured that you are going to flourish before you put faith into your inspirations conversely the way of wisdom is asking you to take a chance by applying all that you've re recently learnt in all your life's studies toward this moment of opposition bring your most valuable lessons whether or not they stem from love or regret and disappointment call upon patience open-mindedness and flexibility to aid you in seeing a new perspective in your soul's story an, an empathic approach brings harmony so be more feeling okay put your open your heart open your solar plex so you can receive and not only give and flexibility to aid you in seeing new perspectives in your soul story and an empathic approach brings harmony white the while the sharp of righteousness can leave a bitter sting resist the desire to shrink back and you will receive the reward of your own magnificence being revealed to you and with it the proposition of exciting new circumstances there you go step by step you can't run before you walk and that I think that is going to be the theme in all the readings and I'll wonder whether that will be the case I'll keep you informed okay I think there's big changes positive energy definitely um, happening I just felt that when we went into Libra because Libra wants peace and harmony and definitely the last couple of weeks I'm seeing this back in the reading I hope you've enjoyed this reading Aquarius and please give us the thumbs up and please join us or join me and my sign the angels in the lives take care be blessed and stay safe love you all to bits Ciao, ciao.